Well, with the success of the Fisher & Pinnacle washer dryer selling, it's now time to run the final cycle in this house of a 58 minute tub clean cycle at 90 degrees Celsius. You're gonna to get to see how this works, so let's have a look. And you're watching Florence Ballard A3060 on film. So there she is, after doing a good few successful washes. Time to put the machine through a uh, clean out. Even though the machine's had rinses and spins after every dry, I thought, well, why don't we just demonstrate the tub clean cycle as a final way of saying goodbye? At least it means one thing. So on this machine, turn it on and I'll zoom in. Turn the machine round, drum clean, 58 minutes. As we know, it does not allow you to put anything lower. You can not select the dry. Uh, we won't need a dry afterwards, but I'll just leave the machine to air. It does a 1400 spin, so I'll do that to dry the machine out. And yes, we'll be good to go. I'm not throwing any, never put any detergent in for maintenance washes. That's not a done thing. I know some people do, but it's not how you're supposed to do a maintenance wash. With this, it's to wash out any residue in the machine that's still there and any bits of fluff. So it's literally any soap or foam in there that you see is residue from detergents I've used. So let's go. We start filling. We uh, will get to see how the machine actually fills the water now. Like how much water we use. Although I think the tub clean, it's think, I think it's a, uh, yeah, I think it's a, a much more higher level of water. In a way, it's a bit of a shame. I was wanting to keep it a bit longer, but then in the end, you know what? The balancing drove me mad. However, seeing as I've not seen any temporary machines nearby, I may bring one of the machines in. I might bring the Hoover 6 in. I have to rearrange everything outside anyway, because the electron's got to go into storage. Oh, I should remember about the electron. That needed a, never mind. I'll get that tomorrow or something. But it has been an interesting machine. I'll, I'll, I'll give the machine that. It has been an interesting machine to fill and finally see one of these. It just maybe wouldn't go for one and wash a dryer for them next time. So we just do slow tumbles and we're straight up heating. Look, this thing's got to get to 90 degrees. I'm sorry you can't really see in. As I say, it's a washer dryer with the perspex. <laughs> the heater. So then this has been really cleaned out. That way then the new owner doesn't have to do a maintenance wash, although it depends if people really know about that. And um, the last thing would be to uh, empty the filter of the machine. Um, I've got a dart wash to do, so I guess I could use some of the shirts and that to mop it up. And I haven't got a towel wash because we did one in this. It was annoying, I literally was about 100 foot away from that storage center. I just done a drive on the M4, I was like, okay, here we go. And you got all that. So I had to pull into a side row, I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I was like, um, I know it wasn't the guy's fault though, he said he was, because obviously you remember it's coming from, he had to make his way to the storage centre anyway. It's strange that me, there's, I don't know, I mean these ones don't, the one that mum's got doesn't have a tub clean cycle anyway. Well, washer dryer's got the rinse and fluff, but they're just a rinse and spin days. So being honest, for a temporary machine, I do not really want a washer dryer because they're harder to film. Unless it's one that doesn't have cycles that take long. Unfortunately, the cycles on this machine were a little bit long. Shall have a little look and see what we can find though. There's a lot of hot point in Indesert. And the trouble is with those, you never know if they're the fire hazard models because people don't take proper photos of the machine, so you don't ever see them, a lot of them, you don't see them on one one. McQueen de Lava. Even though I don't want a washer dryer, though, there was a Hoover Nextra one going for free. 
Got the Mila Dobbin Classic, yeah, the High Sense one. Show you what it looked like. This was what we were going to get. Um, steam and allergy care. And it had those paddles to it. Um, I mean, it looks all right, don't get me wrong. So it says Heisen washing machine, seven kilogram. Used in working, used in working. Drum paddle need replacing, but can still be used without replacing. Mm, no, that's not ever a good idea to do that. And I have seen people do that with their machines, but we're getting steamed up now. But no, I mean, the fact is, is that something else could be wrong with it. It just could be that the guy visually sees that the panel's not on it, but doesn't realise, oh, the slider's also broken on it as well. And those kind of machines are like, I think they're just difficult to repair. It would have been nice, but hey, I would have probably made about 80 to 100 pound off that. Probably even more is what I was going to push for. So, you might want to know, how much have I made off this Fisher & Paykel? Bought the machine for 175, I've sold it for 350. I originally offered 450 on my post, but I thought I need to be generous and give an offer because um, it's a machine that I'm asking a lot for. Now, problem is in London, people are quite stingy about having to spend a lot of money um, on second hand stuff. There's a limit you go above where people are like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I thought, I've got to make back what I've got and I need to make back more. So I can make between, so I've made basically the machine twice. Um, I said the machine was £950 brand new. I don't actually know how much these were. I think they were about 900 so I just sort of gave a detailed description of everything. Uh, and yeah. But the machine is in perfect working order, so why not? I'm impressed that it sold in less than 24 hours. So yeah, that's that. That's all we do at the moment. So we're at 90 degrees now. So yeah, all that, those suds in there you're seeing, that's just detergent and like conditioner residue that we've actually cleaned off the machine. So that's now nice and sterile in there. And it's to scale some of it as well. I mean, the Perspex is about 45 degrees. I think that's what they're designed to do. So yeah, there's definitely nothing temporary nearby. So there's drains. We do a quick spin and then... I love that, the way the sound of the water, it just sounds so satisfying, it does. So this is what we do on the wash section, just these kind of tumbles. It would make more sense to do like a vortex wash with this water in it, to get it all around the drum. I don't know why it does. I don't know why it doesn't. I've only just realised these have got four rows of holes at the back. So we're now filling for a cool down, that's what it does. Oh, I can smell that. Come here. It's 
it does the sort of like high level cool down. And now look, it's doing faster tumbles. Now we, we did make a good choice in getting this because it was fun to film and I mean it was just a bit of let down with long cycles and whatnot. But as a washer dryer it did fine. So you can see there's a bit of a cloudiness to that wall sir. We haven't got any cleaning agents in there. I was originally going to put bleach in there but I thought don't because it will then create a smell in that machine that will be harder to rinse out. Whereas well, actually there's quite a nice natural smell in there now. So do short tumbles but fast. See how the paddles look on the machine as well. But in fact, we did a rinse and spin at the ev end of every cycle. So it already rinsed out most of that anyway. drains and this is where we're going to spin. That's fine. I see it draining all that water out. You can actually see how quickly the machine drains. Oh why was that? What did I try to do? Quite a quick drainer because for most of the machines I've had it. Remember the first video I did of this, we do actually do a spin. I think we do. I think we do a spin in between. Imagine if it stops to rebalance itself. I have heard a machine so sensitive they will rebalance an empty drum. You can see how much the top is like warped slightly there, yeah. It's not as bad as the LG was though. There's a bit of a squeal from the bearings. It happens when the machine gets hot. Because obviously everything expands. But what this does, it just acts like a like a giant fan basically. It just it just blows air through the machine to dry it out. But also, it's about 600. Uh, but it also just it flings any water and any remnants of anything off the drum. what it does. Right, I think there we go. Vortex rinse. Look at that. 
why it doesn't do that on the wash. Look how long it does it for though. That really rinses everything out like that. It's just so satisfying to watch that is. It's only distribution speed as well that is. See how long, and you can see all the suds here that it's rinsing out, and a lot of it's air bubbles though as well. That's really good. Look at that, how long that continues for. There we go, look at all that's come out in that. Fantastic. Then a normal tumble. No, it's going a bit quicker there. tops up a little bit, just like the real rinses. That normally is an indication the machine's about to go onto the spin. It's had a very quiet fill, this machine. I like that as well. Six minutes on the clock, it'll pretty much do 1400 in one go. I love the design of the paddles on this, the amount of holes they've got in them as well. You can see little bits flying around in there. Well, tiny bits. No, actually, no, that's just bubbles. That water is actually very clean. Ooh. And then stop, and then here we go. It's nice because you don't get any of the balancing problems. It's just literally. I mean, you could put the machine on an air dry afterwards, but nah. This final spin will just act as like the thing just to blow out any excess moisture, and then I'll just wipe everything a wipe down. Nice. Done well. I've only got condensation on there, but yeah, you know. <laughs> Ooh.
two. Ha, hi ya. Sweden bearings seal. Probably because of the sudden heat change, yeah, temperature change. Dry the inside of it now. blow some of the water around now on the seal, you can see. That's 1,000. Probably struck 400, I think. Let's see how, how actually real quiet this machine is. Alright, 1400 RPM for the last time. is clean. Right, that's it. One clean Fisher and Pipel WD8060P bolt washer dryer ready for sale. Oh, a bit warm in there, as it would be. But yeah, so what I'll just do now is uh, got some clean towels. Just get like a rag or something. So. Dish rag. I always go wipe the door first because water left on the door is what creates lime scale. And that's that, and then just wipe all around the seal. 
Sorry if anyone doesn't like that noise. What's that? There's something there as well. That's it. They're sort of just going between the drum and the seal there. I'll wipe around the rest of it just gets um the rest of it just gets wiped left in there now. Also there might be a bit of water remaining in the drawer. Let's check that out. Now I won't really wipe the drawer too much because one reason for that, there's heat coming up through here. So I'll leave that there and it will air dry it. And then that can just sit like that. <clears throat> I'll have to give that a, a once wipe around of the door and around here. And that is basically ready for set, ready to be picked up. So guys, that's uh, the end of the Fisher & Pycle WD 8060 P1 washer dryer on the channel. I, I wish we'd have gotten more of this machine out, but just didn't have the time to be filming it. If I'd gotten a washing machine only version, I oh, would have definitely had some more to film on its on top of this. The machine will receive a proper wipe down anyway once it's uninstalled. <clears throat> So we'll get that machine moved out and I'll try and get the Hoover 6 put in. Um, so yeah, I'm not getting the Hisense that I... Oh, you guys haven't known about this. Uh, yeah, there was a Hisense that I was meant to be getting today, um, but the seller wasn't able to attend and unfortunately I'm not really able to pick up again this week. So also something, there was a bit, something a bit iffy about the machine. So I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna go for it. So I'm gonna bring one of my machines in, try and get a couple of videos off. Thank you very much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this as much as I did and thank you to those who enjoyed this machine. John, uh, <clears throat> the wash house, I know you really like this machine. Um, I would have sold it to a collector honestly and gotten a trade but uh, it's very difficult to trade with me I'll say that and plus it would have been a lot of money I would have asked for this so yeah I wouldn't have felt right doing that to a collector. But hey, made some good money off it, the roll on whatever's next, nice, we've got something slightly older. But we'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.